Right guys, welcome back to another video. I've just hit the jackpot here, I think. Absolutely just hit the jackpot. Um, skip absolutely full of armoured cable. Sorry it's been a while. I've had loads and loads to do. That's a bit crap. It's crappy cable, but there's a lot of it and it'll all go as armoured. None of it's been stripped. Yeah. There's a few quids worth there. I'm going to have my work cut out here loading the van up. I've just actually bought another van, um, which I will show in due course. Um, I'm probably gonna, not going to keep it. I don't know yet. I really want to camp up, but I don't know. I'm going to be here for a while. So let me get all this in the back of the van, and I will um, I will bring you guys back. Right, guys. What's happening? Welcome back to the cable. We've had a hectic day today. I've been out with my mate Matt. You would have seen it in the previous video. Three loads we've done. It's been absolutely ridiculous. It's been a good day, actually. It's been a really good day. Um, I'm going away the weekend, so this lot needs to be sorted. There's a big pot. That is all. There's nothing underneath that. That is all cable and these lights. Um, so basically, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Here's one of the lights with a little bit of cable on it. And I've got to repeat this God knows how many times. Um, no, that's the wrong size. So that's changed. What's that? No, it's a 19. No, it's changed on that one at all. Let me find one that's ready to go. Here, yeah. here we go. So what I've been doing is I've been running around, I've been opening them. I started opening them, then I got bored of opening them. So now, I've got my bloody GoPro indoors. I'm still doing it with my phone. I'm just done doing this brass nut. Excuse me, uh, ouch. Sorry, Mick. I've, I've had my gloves on today, but I haven't got them on now. So anyway, I've been undoing that nut, using my cable cutters, snipping through this, which it should go through, because it has been. Yeah. There she goes, taking the lights off. And then that should give me a nice bit of cable. Provided it's not attached to anything, yeah. I don't know, 1,800 long, maybe two, yeah, probably two metres. Um, and there's hundreds of them. And then, once I've got the cable off the light, undo these four screws. This pops out, it's got a ballast on it, but we don't get name for ballasting over here. We just chuck it in with the normal general shit. And then, just got a nice lump of alley left afterwards. All of these, all of these lights, all the plastic bits, um, are all going to go back in the skip they came from. Um, so I ain't got to get rid of them. Well, I've got to get rid of them, but they'll go back in the skip. I'm sure the fellow won't mind. I'm only giving him his rubbish back. Um, these have got a little split pin, which is a bit of a pain. So. Break that off. And there we have it. So it's just a case of pulling this little bit of plastic back. Um, yeah, and going from there. these lights are all plastic, unfortunately. So I'll just cut the cable off there, maybe try and take a bit of brass out if I can. If I can't, I can't. But I would imagine that of all these lights, there's going to be quite a few bits of brass. Maybe not a lot. A couple of kilo, maybe. Um, a couple of kilos, a couple of kilo. It is what it is. Right, I'll bring you back when it's all done in about 16 years. Right, guys, it's now 9 o'clock at night. Um, it was all done. See up there? Lovely big pile of uh, armoured cable. All the lights are all down here, all done. I was loving it. The, the lights weren't done. I needed to just take the lights apart um, to basically until they're this stage. So they're just a nice big lump of cast alley. Um, but I so say they're all done. And then I went and had a little look in my skip again and it was full up again tonight. So oh, I'm now out here stripping. I started at five o'clock this morning and it's now nine half nine at night half eight nine whatever it is um so yeah back to cutting it up tomorrow should be a decent payday especially for, for for nothing literally the skip is five minutes away from my house if that i could walk it not with all this i wouldn't want to walk it but yeah we're um should hopefully be a very very good day tomorrow so i've got my head torch on my head i've got my light up there on my sack barrow um, and yeah, I'm just snipping away at bits of cables and so there's armoured cable in some of this and then there's some other weird cable that's got like a bit of a plastic coating on it 
this stuff, which will go as VIR. So just it's just like power cable, to be fair, just like a normal household. But it's all mixed in. I shall separate it a bit more tomorrow, like this stuff here, on the end of that light. And they, these lights ain't got no brass fittings on either, so it's nice and easy. Snip that side off, and that is almost done. Undo the four screws, take that bit of steel out of it. That can go as obviously shearing. And then, um, yeah, happy days. There's another one there. I like, don't get me wrong, obviously the armoured is, is lovely because it weighs more. But where I'm so knackered and it's so late, I, I would wish it was all just this VIR cable. And that's all I'm doing is just literally snipping bits off. I've got the world's worst wire cutters. So if anyone knows of a decent pair of wire cutters that would go through this 10mm armoured cable with ease, because these do go through it, but they do take, I have to take about three snips here. Um, I don't want to be paying loads of money for them though, because I don't really do that well on a cable, and these are all I need for cutting leads off of things like washing machines and tumble dryers and stuff. I don't need massive, but tonight, I can't mate, I could do it sound good. And it's got to be silent as well, because I'm, I'm up, I live, in, I live up a private road, and there's only three houses here, so I, um, I don't want to be making loads of noise. So I don't want to be out here for grinder and stuff, or, or a, uh, or a recip saw, you know. Um, so yeah, if anyone knows of anything, Kushti. Um, listen, a big shout out to the people that have been getting getting in contact with Jonathan, my e-waste buyer. Um, because basically anyone that gets in contact with him through me, um, I'll, I'll get a little bit of a percentage out of it as well. So it helps me out, guys. Like, if anyone out there is interested in getting rid of any computer boards, um, any circuit boards, servers, computers, laptops, anything like that... Um, Jonathan will pay the top price in the country, um, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and the big and and the more of it there is, obviously the, the better the price can be. Um, I, I don't know the prices, so I'm I'm not going to say because that's not down to me. That's down to Jonathan. Um, but his email address will be in the description of all of my videos from now on. So any any e waste at all, the email address is there. Get hold of Jonathan um, and. He, he, he will he will sort you out 100 percent he's a good bloke um he'll give you the best price possible um so yeah happy days happy days i am um, i am going to keep stripping this lot and i'll bring you guys back tomorrow at the scrapyard when it's all nice and clean and we'll see we'll see what we get for it all um yeah oh, i don't know it'd be nice to get a couple of hundred quid out of it it will be nice to get a couple of hundred quid out of it. I'll be surprised if it ain't, to be fair. I'll be very surprised if it ain't. Right. Fast forward to the scrapyard. Right, so, after two loads, finally stripped. Cable, lights. All the lights have been stripped. All the bits of wire out of them. So, Dan's going to take them as alley, aren't you, Dan? That is going to be a alley, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. It says one kilo up there, but that actually weighs 1.2 kilo because I weighed it last night. Right, I'm going to pass her over to the boss and she's going to film while we get this done. Right, we'll start with the alley dad, shall we? Put that magnet away. Exactly. So you got you got all that done. Yeah. He's a good boy, you are. 
Right, so 69 kilos so far. And then with that on it. Ah, oh, fucking I've got my hopes up then. Eight, I still live on it, didn't I? 82 kilos. Right. Is that all of that? Then? Yeah, that's all that. Do you want to move all that close and put this cake on? Uh, you yeah. Right, pause that. Some of this is armoured, some of it. Hey. So, fill it out. Go with the armour first, don't you? Yeah. And I'll put the track. Not any well.
people so the light iron I had, a, I had a washing machine and a couple of other little bits um 23 quid the aluminium all them lights uh 74 pound 62 the armored cable 110 pound lovely a little bit of vir that i had 18 quid and the the singles was three pound 30 oh and that little bit of brass that i had was 22 pounds with a grand total of 251 pound 88 pence now that is great news because the other day i don't know if i mentioned in another video or whatever because i've done so much recording the last couple of days um to try and get you sort of a couple of videos out i bought a van the other day uh, matt who was with me on the last scrap video or the, did the next scrap video he come out of me for a couple of days and he'd mentioned the van and then the van was 250 quid which is good money anyway because i could scrap it for 400 straight away um but i'm probably going to put it for an mot and, and and get it back on the road i'm not sure i'm going to keep it convert it into a camper sell it i don't know what i'm going to do yet but that was that van cost me 250 quid and i didn't really have the dough to go and buy it so um that basically has just bought it for me which is lovely lovely jubbly anyway thanks for watching people don't forget about um about the e-waste um if anyone watching does a bit of scrapping gets a bit of e-waste get hold of jonathan his link will be in the description his um email um, and if you haven't subscribed, please, please do. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot more videos and a lot of different variety of scrap coming your way. See you soon.